Hey there, this is Wildwood and coming at you guys live from my living room in Nashville, Tennessee. And I just did a live thing on Instagram and my phone quit on me in the middle of it. So we'll see if I have better luck on this. For anybody who's curious, I have an iPhone 6 and um, I don't think that really works with much anymore. So I probably need to invest in a new iPhone, but here we are. So we'll give this We'll give this a try, but um, I hope you're having a good day so far. I wanted to jump on here, first of all, and thank everyone for all your love and support of my new song, Firefly. It um, released last Friday, so almost a week ago, and I appreciate all the shares and all the listens and all the watches of the music video, and I hope that it's been a meaningful song for you in your life. And I wanna get on here today and share the story behind it, how it got written, how we made the music video. So that's what I'm gonna do. So a couple of years ago, I was listening to NPR on the radio and I heard a segment about fireflies. And where I grew up in Georgia, we called them lightning bugs, but it's the same thing. <laughs> and um, on this segment, they were talking about them and how magical and spectacular they are every summer. But they also shared kind of a tragic story about them. They live their first one to two years of life underground without flight and they don't have the ability to light up yet. And when they finally grow into mature adult fireflies, they only have 21 days to live. That's just three weeks. I couldn't believe that because I, I've always noticed they're only really around in June and then they kind of taper off like in mid-July. Um, but I didn't realize that that's all they got was those three weeks and then they die and I kind of thought at the time that could be a really powerful song if I could you know figure it out and a couple of years passed I didn't write the song and then um, about this time last year I had COVID-19 and I was quarantined sick for two weeks and luckily it wasn't bad enough where I had to go to the hospital or anything but um, it did make me think a lot about my life and about what I'd been doing with my days and for me I've always felt that my purpose in this world is to create music to write songs to put things out into the world um, through that medium and I hadn't been doing it i would let perfectionism and fear of failure and fear of rejection and all the fears get in the way of doing what I love um, but this little bout with COVID that I had just kind of woke me up in a way. And when I got out of quarantine, I hadn't been able to sing for the whole two weeks because I was sick and my voice wasn't working. And I finally kind of got my voice back. I grabbed my guitar. I sat at the kitchen table and Firefly poured out of me. And it, it came out in about 30 minutes. And um, usually I don't write songs that fast. Usually it takes me certainly hours, if not days, weeks, or even months or years in some cases to finish a song because I like to edit them and really work on them. But this one just came out really fast and I didn't need to change a word. So I went and played it for my husband, Brandon Metcalf, who's also my producer. And Brandon, as a music producer, we work together on all my music. Um, he's pretty picky. <laughs> and he would say that too. He has worked with a lot of incredible artists over the years from Casey Musgraves to Augustana to even Jewel. He worked with Jewel before. So he has a really sharp ear and he doesn't just say he likes things just because. So I played him this song like I do most of my songs and he started crying. And I knew that's when, okay, we have something special with this one. Like this, it's really heartfelt and it's really real and it's going to resonate with not just me, but maybe other people too. So that's how Firefly was written. I wrote it on guitar. Um, I'm gonna play it for you guys the way it was written just uh, shortly here. But um, we tried to keep the recording pretty much as close to the way I wrote it as possible because it didn't feel like it needed much. So we've got an acoustic guitar on there. We added Pedal Steel by Dan Dugmore, which kind of sounds to me like the Fireflies, like if they made a sound, what they would sound like flying through the woods. And we have a couple of little twinkly glockenspiel notes here and there that imitate the twinkling of the fireflies. And that's, that's about it on the track. It just didn't need a lot. Um, the music video that we recorded for it, we had a lot of fun with that as well. We um, went to an abandoned airport in East Nashville called Cornelia Fort Airpark. 
and there are all these overgrown old runways. And so I kind of was running around on them with my arms out like a plane as if I was about to take off. And that to me felt a little bit like a metaphor for being a firefly and for taking off and flying. So that was really awesome. And there are a few other shots in the video, if you've seen it, that are black and white that are um, me recording the vocals. And those actually took place at my aunt's cabin in Hilton's, Virginia, up on the mountain behind the Carter family fold. That was a cabin that my late uncle Mike Cornett built in the 70s. And my uncle Mike, along with his brother, my uncle Bugs, who's also passed away, were huge influences on me getting me started in music when I was little. So being able to spend a month this past fall recording vocals in his home, even though he's no longer here, was a really, really special way to incorporate them into this song and this music. So that's where those black and white footage um, shots came from. And that was the video, that's <laughs> pretty simple. So my favorite part of the song is actually in the bridge. There's a line that is, so don't hold back and don't hit snooze. You'll only regret the things you didn't do. Don't wait for tomorrow because these hours are borrowed as it is. And for me, that was kind of like a message to myself when I wrote that because I am so guilty of literally hitting snooze on my alarm clock <laughs> when I wake up every day. And I waste so much time and I don't just jump into every day excited to be alive the way that I want to. So that was kind of a message to myself. And every time I listen back to the song now, even though I've heard it a million times by now, um, it still hits me in that spot. And it's a reminder every day to get up and make the most of my day, whether that's with work, um, doing the things I'm dreaming of doing, or personally, calling my mom, calling my dad, going on that trip with my friends, um, being there for a family member or a friend who needs me because we don't know how much time we're gonna have and we better make the most of the days that we, that we do have. So that's a little bit about Firefly, where it came from, um, how we created it, and I'd love to play for you guys uh, how I originally wrote it. So here's one of my guitars and uh, here, here we go. This is Firefly. They put on quite a show and I wonder if they even know it. They're only here for a couple of weeks and it makes me sad when they start to leave. The best things are like that. They tend to not last too long. When you've only got 21 days You don't dare let one go to waste You take flight and you shine your light Cause you know you don't got a lot of time To be a firefly
while it's mine You've only got a little time So don't hold back and don't hit snooze you only regret the things you didn't do Don't wait for the morrow these hours are borrowed as it is You and I get more than 21 days But don't you dare let even one go to waste Take to the sky and shine your light Cause you know you don't got a lot of time Don't get much time to be a firefly. So that is how I originally wrote Firefly, just guitar, vocal, and I think you hear a lot of that in the recording. And thank you guys again for listening to the song on streaming platforms, for watching the music video, and for all the lovely messages. I love hearing your favorite parts of the song and how it's touching you in your life. So thank you so much for, for being here watching this video right now, and I'll jump on here and do more of these for upcoming songs that are coming out. All right, hope you all have a good day. Bye.